Mary is getting stronger and healthier now. And a lot of this has to do with fresh air and exercise. Um, two things which are greatly overlooked. Um, I haven't exercised as much as I should. I need to do this. And everybody should exercise as much as they can. Many, many, many years ago, uh, President Reagan was... Uh, having heart issues and the doctor told him he should exercise and one well, of the things he said was you should be doing push-ups now Reagan was old for a president uh, at the time he was the oldest person to ever serve as president and he wasn't in good shape and he couldn't do a push-up and the doctor was like okay lean against a wall and push off of the wall so he would lean against the wall and push back and then that would work the arms and it works the same muscles as when you're pushing your entire weight up off the ground. And you could do that progressively and build up. So for instance, you can start by pushing against a wall. Then you move your feet back a foot. And so you're more leaning and it's more weight up against the wall. And then you can push back a little further and it's still more weight up against the wall. And then you can do it on a chair. So if you go down over a chair and you have your arms on the chair and you can push up against the chair and your feet are carrying some of your weight, but it's more weight than pushing up against the wall, but it's less weight than just doing a full push up. And then you can do the full push up. And then after the full push-up, you can start getting crazy. And you can lift your feet, which puts more weight on your arms. And so that's even more force. Or if you're really cool, you can do one-handed push-ups and then do push-ups with the other hand. And I've never... I managed to do one, two, one or two one-handed push-ups once a long time ago when I was in shape. But... Uh, Exercise is important. Um, getting out and walking, even little bits of exercise are really important for your health. Um, it gets the heart moving, it gets, it gets the body working right, and if you don't exercise, your body starts falling apart. And the thing about exercise is the more you do it, the easier it gets. And once you get into a habit, it's easy to stay into the habit. But the hard part is getting into the habit. So pick a time, do a couple sit-ups, do a couple push-ups. First thing in the morning, last thing at night, just pick a time. Noon, it doesn't matter. Just pick a time, do a little exercise. Now, they talked about the wind weathering. Um, there was a famous gothic romance novel, Wuthering Heights which was set in the Moors, just like this was. Um, it was written by Emily Bronte about um, 40 or 50 years before Secret Garden was written. So this was something that everybody knew. Um, and whether Wuthering was taken from that or if it had been a Yorkshire-ish word before, uh, I don't know. But uh, Wuthering Heights is this classic romance novel, uh, sort of like, a, well, the main character in Wuthering Heights is Heathcliff, and he is poor and working as a stable hand, and he's in love with the lady of the house, or with the daughter of the house, and then he goes off and he gets rich. And he comes back and buys things, and her ha family is falling into ruin, and it's... then she dies, and he runs off into the moor, and uh, it's kind of sad and tragic, um, but very passionate, very popular book. Um, anyway, so Wuthering, that's the sound of the wind Wuthering, and they have... Uh, so, Mary hears what sounds like a child crying. And Martha's like, no, 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 it's just the wind. And, yeah, there are times that the wind can sound like a child crying. 
There are some animals that make noises very much like a child crying. A bobcat makes this sound like a baby wailing, and it is like one of the most disconcerting things on the planet because the bobcat makes this noise. It's like, Aah! it's like a little infant crying. And it's just freaky. But anyway, uh, so Mary thinks she hears a child crying. And Martha's like, nah, it's just the wind. And, uh, you know, Martha says it's just the wind. But before, and Barry doesn't believe her. Now, before, Martha said that there's things that go on in the house that she's not supposed to talk, that they're not supposed to talk about, they're not supposed to ask about. Um... And so this kind of seems to say that what Mary heard, this child, is one of those things that doesn't get talked about. But uh, we'll find out, maybe. Hopefully. We'll find out.